identifying large and small objects. Hello friends, I am a parrot and I welcome you to this lesson. Come let's see what you will learn in this lesson. Identifying small and large objects. Identifying the smallest and largest object. Today Chotu was taken for a walk by the school to a nearby forest and Chotu has got homework that he has to gather some things and paste it in his notebook. Chotu thought of taking two flowers, two leaves and two bird feathers from the forest. While taking a walk in the forest, Chotu found a lot of fallen flowers under a tree. Chotu picked two flowers from it. Hey, these are very beautiful flowers. I will take two flowers. A small flower and a large flower. After going a little further, Chotu saw fallen leaves from which he picked up two leaves. One big leaf and one small leaf. While walking, he found a tree on which a lot of birds were sitting. Under that tree were a lot of fallen feathers. Chotu thought to lift two feathers from them. I will take one small feather and one big feather. Oh wow! I got flowers, leaves and bird feather. Now I will go home and stick them in my notebook. When Chotu reached home, he took out his copy and brought everything to stick in his notebook. First, I will paste the leaves. Here are the two leaves. We'll put big leaf here and small leaf here. Chotu pasted both the leaves. Now he thought of pasting the flowers. This little flower, let me put it here. And this big flower here. Now it is the turn of the bird's feathers. Here are the two feathers of the bird. So hey kids, can you tell which one of these feathers is shorter? You thought right kids. This is a small feather. I will paste small feather here. And now I will paste this big feather here. Oh wow! All my work is done! Children, you saw how Chotu recognized big and small things? Like this is a small flower and this is a big flower. This is a small leaf and this is a big leaf. This is a small feather and this is a big feather. A new bicycle shop is open in the forest. All animals are very excited. Elephant, monkey and squirrel all three reach to buy bicycles from the shop. Here are the bicycles they bought. Can you tell which bicycle is whose? This is the biggest bicycle. It is for the elephant because it is the largest among those three animals. So kids, can you tell which is the squirrel's bicycle? Yes, you thought right children. The squirrel is the tiniest among those three animals and his bicycle is also the smallest. This means the squirrel will get the smallest bicycle. And this is monkey's bicycle. So kids, the elephant is the biggest among those three friends. So he took the biggest bicycle. And the squirrel is the smallest among them, so he has taken the shortest bicycle. Hey children, that's all for today. In this video we learned Identifying small and large objects Identifying the smallest and largest objects In the next video we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects. That's all for today. Bye-bye, friends.
interesting examples of identifying big and small objects. Part 1 Hello children, in the previous video we learned identifying small and large objects, identifying the smallest and largest objects. In this video, we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects. Today, Tinu Rat and Minu Cat are playing together. They got hungry while playing. Let's eat something, Tinu. Yes, Minu, you are right. I am very hungry too. Let's go to the kitchen. There we will find some bread to eat. Both Minu and Tinu go to the kitchen. Two breads were kept there. One small bread and one big bread. Children, can you tell which of these is a small bread and which one is the big bread? Okay, let's see. Yes, you guessed it right kids. This bread is big and this one is small. Minu the cat is big among them, so she takes the big bread. And Tinu the mouse is small, so he takes small bread. After eating, Tinu and Minu play a lot and then leave for their home. Children, here is Minu's house and here is Tinu's house. Can you tell which one of them has a bigger house? Come on, let's see. Yes, you are right children. Minu's house is bigger than Tinu's house. And Tinu's house is smaller than Minu's house. So kids, you saw Minu cat is big. So she ate big bread. And her house is also big. Tinu rat is small. So he took small bread. And his house is also small. Today, Minu Cat and Tinu Rat have come together on a picnic. Both have brought something to eat for themselves from home. Hey Tinu, your lunchbox is so small. And Minu, your box is much bigger than my box. Children, do you know which of these boxes belongs to Tinu? Yes, the small box belongs to Tinu. Here is Tinu's box. And this is the box that belongs to Minu, which is bigger than Tinu's box. Minu and Tinu ate their food stomach full and then they started playing. So children, that's it for today. And in this video, we saw some more examples of identifying small and large objects. In the next video, we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects and learn about common mistakes which should not be made. Till then kids, bye bye! Interesting examples of identifying big and small objects. Part 2 Hello kids, in the previous video we saw some more examples of identifying small and big objects. In this video we will see some more examples of identifying small and big objects and learn about common mistakes which should not be made. Today Chotu and Pinky's maternal uncle brought two chocolates for them. Mom, give me one of these chocolates, please. Here, take Pinky. Mom, I want a big one because this one is too small. Children, here are the two chocolates that their uncle got for them. So kids, by looking at them, can you tell which of these does Pinky want? Yes, out of these two, this chocolate is bigger. So she wants to have this chocolate. And this chocolate is smaller than the other chocolate. Today Chotu's mother is sitting in the room peeling some peas. Her plate is full. She tells Chotu, Chotu, just bring a small plate for me from the kitchen. 
Chotu goes to the kitchen to take the plate, but he does not understand which is the small plate. Hey, both these plates are smaller than this plate. So which plate should I give to mom? Chotu took all three plates to his mother and asked her, "Mom, both these plates are smaller than this plate. So which plate should I give you?" Chotu, you are right. Both these plates are smaller than this plate. Can you tell me which is the smallest among them? Yes, mom. This plate is the smallest, isn't it, mom? Yes, Chotu. You are absolutely right. Now put the other two plates back, please. Okay, mom. Children, did you see? This is the smallest plate among these three plates, and this is the largest plate. So, hey, kids, that's it for today. In this video, we learned to identify big and small objects, and I really hope you understood this topic properly. Okay, then, bye, kids.